Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to another non-league news flash. Today is Saturday the 18th of March 2017 and I'm going to be bringing you up to date with all the scores from today. There's been some big games in non-league and I will be rounding them all up right now. So if you're new around here, then remember to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with non-league football, especially as this is now the end of the season, so it's getting really crucial and yeah, you don't want to miss anything. So click that subscribe button and let's get straight into the non-league news. So first of all, we're going to go to the Vanarama National League and the first game involved Oldershot. They got a 2-0 victory over Sutton United at home. Barrow beat Dagenham and Redbridge 2-1. There was a 0-0 home draw for Boring Wood against Geisley. Braintree, with the worst home record in the league, beat bottom club Southport 2-0. Eastleigh went away to Chester and got a 91st minute winner to win 1-0. Dover kept up the pressure on the teams in the playoffs with a 1-0 victory over Bromley. Forest Green beat Wrexham 3-0 to move level on points with top of the table Lincoln City, although the Lincoln City do have three games in hand. Gateshead beat Woking 2-1 and Solihull with an emphatic away victory at North Ferriby United. 4-1 victory for Solihull. So the table looks like this. Lincoln are top. Forest Green are level on points in second. Tramere are third. Dagenham and Redbridge in fourth. And Gateshead in fifth. Then down at the bottom, Woking are in 21st. York in 22nd. North Ferriby in 23rd. And Southport in 24th. So now into the National League North and this is where my team Kidder Mr Harry has had an absolute massive game today away at AFC Fylde and that ended in a two-all draw. Now would I have taken a two-all draw before kickoff? Definitely I would have snapped your hand off for it but given the circumstances of the game I am gutted that we didn't win the game so we were 2-0 up at half time the first half was brilliant by all accounts then the referee lost control of the game from what I've heard and he ended up sending one of our players off just after, in the, basically in the 82nd minute, AFC Fylde got a goal back to make it 2-1. Then we had a man sent off. Unfairly, apparently their player was rolling around on the floor making the most of it, got our man sent off. But that's, that's fairly common in the world of football nowadays. Then in the 95th minute, Sam Finley started a fight with Tyrell Waite, essentially, and both men ended up getting sent off. So we were down to nine men, Fylde were down to, ten, down to ten men. Fylde they got a 97th minute equaliser to break the hearts of the travelling Harriers fans and the break my heart sat here in my room in Kidderminster. So yeah, I was gutted with that. But at the end of the day, it's still a point away at Fylde. It's still impressive, but the curse of the purple shirt continues. Harriers have yet to win away from home when wearing our purple away shirt. Our only away victories have come when we're wearing our red home shirt. So that shirt is cursed. Anyway. On to the other scores in the National League North, Alfreton beat FC United and Manchester 2-1. There was a 0-0 draw between two clubs at the bottom of the table, Altrincham and Stadium Ridge. Curzon beat Nuneaton 2-1. Darlington got an impressive victory over Brackley to move into the playoffs, they won 1-0. As I mentioned, Fylde drew 2 all with Kidderminster. Gloucester went away to Halifax and got a very impressive 1-0 victory. Harrogate beat Chorley 2-1, so that's great for Harry as Chorley dropped three points there. Salford dropped two points. Drawing one all with Stockport County, Tamworth beat Gainsborough 1-0. Bradford Park Avenue beat Telford 3-1, thanks for hat-trick from Wayne Brooksby. And Worcester City lost 2-0 at home to Boston. So the league table now looks like this. Filed on top of the table on 74 points, 11 points clear of second place Salford and third place Kidderminster. Although Kidderminster do have a game in hand. Chorley are in fourth and Darlington climbs the playoffs to make up fifth place. Then at the relegation zone, Gainsborough are in 20th. Staley Bridge in 21st and Altrincham in 22nd. Now on to the National League South. A very entertaining game for the neutral at Dartford. They won 5-3 at home to Truro City. East Thurrock beat Oxford City 2-1. Bath City beat Eastbourne 2-1. Ebsley got two goals in the last 10 minutes to win 2-1 at home to Western Superman. That's a crucial victory for them to keep the pressure on Maidenhead. Gosport beat St Albans 4-0. They stay in the relegation zone with that win, but St Albans City, their, sin, their season continues to absolutely fall apart. Hemel Hempstead beat Margate 3-2. Margate nearly got another point there. Wow, this is unbelievable. Hungerford beat Concord 2-1. Maidenhead beat Welling 3-0 to stay top of the table. Paul Town drew 3 all with Hampton and Richmond Borough. Another great game for the neutral there. Wheelstone's winning streak ended with a one all draw at home to Chelmsford. And Whitehawk moved away from the relegation places with a 1-0 home victory over Bishop Stortford. So the league table is now looking like this. 
Maidenhead are top on 77 points, Ebbsfleet are second on 76 points, Dartford are third, Chelmsford are fourth and Town are in fifth. The relegation places Gosport stay in 20th despite their emphatic victory, Bishop Stortford are in 21st and Margate are at the foot of the table in 22nd. Today was also the semi-finals of the FA Trophy, the second legs were being played today, the first leg was played earlier in the week and the teams that are going to be at Wembley in the final are York City and Macclesfield. Congratulations to those two teams, it's going to be a great day for your fans. So the way that they got there, York City managed to get a one all draw today against Lincoln City. After 90 minutes it was 1-0 to Lincoln, but due to this first leg ending 2-1 to York, the game went to extra time. Away goals don't have any impact on the outcome by the way. So a goal in the 110th minute, it was a penalty from Scott Fenwick for York City, meant that they made it to Wembley. Macclesfield on the other hand, they got a 1-0 away victory at Tranmere in the second leg. The first leg ended with a one all scoreline. Oliver Norburn in the 65th minute got a victory for Macclesfield and that meant that they get to go to Wembley. So there you have it, you're now up to date with today's non-league scores. What scores surprise you the most? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.